We are expecting near record temperatures this week, just in time for the beginning of football season. The state has rules when it comes to how long high school athletes can practice outside. Not in your sides, Justin Shecker joins us live from a football practice at Cienega High School. Hey, guy, yeah, we've been out here since 4 o'clock today when the Sanaga Bobcats began their two hour practice this afternoon. I can tell you it's definitely a hot one, but luckily for these boys behind me, they're not just they're not wearing their pads uh, just yet. The coach here says he's never had his players go through two a day practices during the summer in the preseason, even before the Arizona Interscholastic Association, known as the AIA, outlawed them a couple years back. Coach Nemer Hassey says he encourages players to hydrate throughout practice without set water breaks. The water station was even quite popular today before practice began. There's also a full-time trainer watching for signs and symptoms of dehydration. And per state rules, full contact practice with hitting doesn't begin until a week after players start wearing helmets. So we don't have two a days. We acclimate them slow. Um, we we condition when the sun goes down. So at the at the tail end of our practice, even in uh, the Saturday morning practices when we start with full gear, we'll actually condition in the front end of practice when it's cooler. The National Center for Catastrophic Sports Injury Research calculated 52 heat-related deaths at the pro, college, high school, and youth football levels since 1995. After only one such death in 2012 and 2013, the latest report says, quote, this is a positive trend that could continue due to efforts at a state and national level. Now, coming up at 6, we'll take a closer look at some of the state protocols aimed at preventing heat illnesses here on Arizona football fields. We are live at Sienega High School tonight. I'm Justin Shecker, Kega 9 on your side.